Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today officially wraps up my Vlogmas. Um, I did it for a whole week, so I was proud of myself. I at least accomplished that. I was gonna try to push it for two weeks, but um, I noticed that I, I still feel like I have a lot of things to do, but I can't do it because I'm editing a lot. So I wanna go ahead and slow down the season. Right. Today we're gonna do a little bit of everything. I need to clean, I need to decorate. Um, I have some crafts or like an activity I want to do with the kids and then maybe at the end of the vlog I'll give you guys like a Christmas home tour if I can get the house clean enough <laughs> If not, I might still give it to you anyways I have a huge like canvas like an art canvas. I haven't been able to hang it up I try to use tiny command hooks Don't do that because it'll scare your husband in the middle of the night when the thing falls down um, I knew what it was the moment it happened. I was like babe calm down. It's okay I, I know it's a big it's a big canvas. That I shouldn't have put up with tiny command hooks, but I did it anyways and it lasted maybe half a day. <laughs> um, but I need to buy command strips. I, I don't know if I have them, so I might, I know my husband doesn't want me to put holes in the wall, but I might put like a tiny hole in there maybe, cause I really want to put it up, but I haven't ran to the store to go get some command strips. Like I need the, the extra large ones. <laughs> um, um, but anyways, I do want to decorate that little section as well. I did want to say hi, if you are new here, my name is Isabel Floriano. I'm a Christian mom with three kiddos. Their ages are two, four, and nine. And welcome back to my followers. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed Vlogmas. Here on my channel, I like to share lots of vlogs. And then I also do um, decorating and homemaking and organizing and cleaning. And we also homeschool. So um, you'll see lots of that on my channel here. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up first. And then I want to decorate the little coffee corner. Some decorations in a bag that I really need to unpack. Oh, I almost forgot. Maybe I'll share what I got my kids for Christmas this year. I said I wasn't going to because um, my oldest is like, oh, are you going to share one of those videos? I'm like, hmm, are you going to watch it at grandma's house? <laughs> because I know she goes to my mom and they'll, and my mom will watch my videos over there sometimes. But I've been itching to wrap some gifts. I know my daughter has too. Um, my tree looks a little bare, <laughs> so I definitely want to add some presents under there. Let's go ahead and finally get into today's video. I'm sorry if I'm super chatty this morning. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a long time because um, for Vlogmas, those were pre-recorded videos in order to get them out in time. So yeah, I've kind of missed you guys. I've missed kind of talking to you guys. So this is probably gonna be a chatty vlog. So anyways, welcome to today's video and let's go ahead and jump in. daughter and I we did like our chores for the day um, I just cleaned up and decluttered basically she had to do she had to empty up the dishwasher <laughs> and clean up the living room and vacuum now that that's done um, I wanted to go ahead and decorate our little coffee corner here and then I wanted to share with you guys a couple of stuff too that I've gotten recently the first thing being this little Grinchy mama shirt that I got this one I got from r, r Arts and Crafts. I'll leave the link down in my description box below, but I think it's so cute. It, also this weekend we found some new ornaments. Um, these we got from like a little, uh, actually I think it was a Christmas stroll in Salado that we went to. I like this one, the little lamb, it's so cute. But we found a lot of Grinch things. Um, we actually found three Grinch ones and then the little lamb one. Um, but my daughter has one in her room. While I decorate, I'm going to share with you guys what I got that's new um, because I think basically everything for this little corner is new because I didn't have any other decorations to do. What I'm going to be decorating is basically like in here, maybe something over here, but I'm not too sure. 
Um, we have like my um, like my coffee machine and then my my husband's coffee machine. This is my old one, but he didn't want to get rid of it. I guess because he likes the regular coffee, not the Nespresso's with the foam or anything. Um, so yeah, this is this is super old. I think I got it a couple years back. I haven't been able to use it. I think I'm gonna veer away from that and just kind of flip it around and just use this empty spot. I'm gonna go ahead and put some chai tea in here. I think some Nespresso pods and some regular pods if they fit. I got these specifically because they're green. Um, I couldn't find the holiday ones that are red, but I like green anyways, so I think it works out. Put those in there. Can you put these in the trash can, baby? <laughs> recycle? Yes, recycle. Um, I got this holiday edition white chocolate coffee from Aldi and I I really want to try this because it sounds good. I actually thought it was white hot chocolate at first, but we'll see. Hopefully my husband likes it. smells so good just coming out of the box. So, um, I don't know if I shared this with you guys before, but I don't drink the chai like by itself. Um, I actually put it in my coffee and I think it elevates the coffee so much. If you have like, um, like a standard flavor, like I think this is Pike's Place, I believe. Yeah, Pike's Place and this one is really good. It's a really good roast to mix with some extra um with some extra flavors so i like to put that in there um, but if you have like a holiday blend i definitely wouldn't put that in there it would be like so overpowering with all these different spices i'm just gonna slide that there um these i got from aldi and i believe they were like six dollars and this one i got from target a while back too I think I'm going to put the sugar in here since it looks cute. I like to change out these little sugar containers like every season. Um, it probably drives my husband crazy because I don't even use the sugar. It's for my husband. I hope I don't spill this. Yeah, so this was from um, Target's dollar spot a couple years ago and I think it was $3. Now it's probably like 5 bucks, but... I put that there. Some things I got like for this area, specifically for this area, but if it doesn't work out, then I obviously have somewhere else to put it. I forgot I got some cute little mixers for like coffee or hot chocolate or something. Now, I don't think I'm going to do a hot chocolate bar this year simply because my kids will probably devour the whole thing before we're actually able to make hot chocolate. This is like, it's not massive, but it's much bigger than these. Um, but I like how it kind of matches. So hopefully I can fit them here in this area. If not, I have another area to do. This one I got specifically to go in the dining room table. Um, not on my, like my big table, but like it's a little, it's a small table that we use for like school and stuff. There's supposed, there's like a snowy canvas. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but there's a snowy canvas there. Um, then I wanted some like other snowy type decorations, but this one is like <laughs> super thick and chunky. This one says, be cold. I bring you good tidings of great joy. The best thing that I found, I think, was this cute little ornament. It's my favorite thing ever. I think it's so simple and so beautiful. Um, it's this one. If you can see the little baby, it's so cute. I liked it so much. I got one for my mother-in-law. I thought it'd be perfect for her. Last things I got were these big candles from Aldi. They're supposed to be chalk candles, but I kind of like them the way they are. They're like a matte black. This one, what is this, vanilla clove scent. I think I'm gonna put that out here. It's like a spicy vanilla. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good. It smells like Christmas, really. And then this one is a spiced orange scent. And this one smells like really fruity and tangy and citrusy. So I'm gonna put this in my bathroom or my bedroom um, because my husband likes like the sweet scents. So here's how the little area turned out. Um, I'm not too crazy about that being there by itself, but. I think other than that, it's cute, it's simple, it's easy access for my husband to get his sugar. So go ahead and move over to the dining room area where I wanted to decorate before. I 
put that up. Um, it was just like tiny little holes that I made. It's holding up really good. Um, so I hope it doesn't fall down again in the middle of the night. But I'm going to decorate this little section here. And then I'm just going to throw something on the counter with this candle. Um, and then I want to do a craft or an activity. With, I keep saying craft because the kids are doing something with me. But um, it's actually like an activity. Um, I think we're going to make some... I don't even know what they're called. We call them Christmas treats. I make them almost every year uh, because I have to make my dad something to eat for Christmas, like a treat, because he loves getting food for Christmas, like little treats and stuff. But um, so yeah, so stay tuned. We're going to do that. It's super simple recipe. The kids love it. I love it. It's a great combination between the sweet and salty. So I don't know. Stay tuned. But I'm going to go ahead and um, decorate now, and then we'll get to do it the sweets. Along with this like little snowy theme, I wanted to find other things that had like snow-like snow -like, um, theme to go along with it. But I think I'm just going to set these up here. I really wanted to find some of that like fake snow that you kind of just lay out, but... I haven't been able to find any. I haven't made it to the Dollar Tree without my kids because if I go with my kids, I know I'm gonna buy a lot of stuff. Well, these are these are some like risers and stuff and like everyday decorations. Um, I took a lot of these risers down from fall, and I I don't know. I haven't been using them lately. My other idea was to put some snow right here and lay out this little advent calendar, but um, it's still the first week of December, so. I might do that. I still haven't put anything in them, obviously, but I need to do that. I figured that would be cute, but I'm not sure if my boys are going to allow me to do that um, because they might take one whenever they shouldn't. But we have been doing this, and the kids have been loving this. Yes, these have all been poked out, but it's okay. We just, we just reuse them every year, and the kids love it. At the end, we'll, have, we'll read the whole Christmas story here. But this is what we've been doing. So I'm just going to put this here to give us like a nice reminder. But I think it'd be so cute if I had some snow or something to go here. I also thought about putting some like garland around. But I don't have any more garland or any of like that floppy garland. So don't pay attention to my dishes. But this is one of the risers that I was about to put up. But I figured I would try to get some use out of it while it's out here. Um, I love this candle guys. It smells so like warm, but I just figured I'd throw these three pieces together. Let's see. I always think it's so tricky finding some pieces that I want. Like I don't want like huge pieces, but I want, um, like pieces that are just small enough to fill up a space pretty good. Wait, which way does this go? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to put it with this. I love this little ribbon, but... This was supposed to be mistletoe. Well, I think it is. I think it's supposed to be mistletoe. But I really don't want to hang it up anywhere. Because I feel like if I have to put it somewhere up and fill one of those like little archways, I have one, two, three. And and I feel like I'm going to have to fill, fill them all up. <laughs> and I don't want to do that, so... I just make it pretty simple here. I ended up switching them around because you couldn't really see what the words were saying. So I think it looks cute. Christmas bucket list update. Um, we have set up our tree. Uh, we've set up plenty of nativities. Um, we decorated our tree. We have made a gingerbread house, but I have another one. Um, it's big and it's pre-built. So um, I kind of want to do that one again. Um, we've hung our stockings, we've sang plenty of Christmas worship songs, made lots of ornaments, we saw Christmas lights finally. We went to the Ballora Lights recently. I just took my kids, my husband was super busy that day. So it was fun to just kind of hang out with my kids. We took some popcorn, it was super fun. We have done a Grinch craft that I show you guys it was more difficult than I planned. Yeah, so actually the kids did donate some toys recently. I just, they're in the back of my car. <laughs> I haven't taken them yet. Um, but I did, I think it's too early. No, should we make Christmas bark? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I think I think now we're gonna make some Christmas bark. What I was talking about earlier is another treat that I usually make, but I forgot that we make it more towards Christmas, so it's nice and fresh. We haven't made Christmas pancakes because we usually make it more towards Christmas, but this is this is the pan I have. 
Um, all of them had Santa, so, but he's in the middle and I usually can't make him anyways when the rest are full. I think these are three inch pancakes, but they're perfect for the kids. They love seeing them. I need to clean off the countertops really quick and then, um, and then we can get everything ready to make the Christmas spark. Um, I'll leave that recipe in the comments down below, not the other one I was talking about. Um, but we will do that one and I'll share that one with you guys as well. But today we're going to make Christmas spark. Um, the kids love making it. We're going to start on the Christmas spark. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start like the base layer, but first I'll tell you guys the ingredients. Some pretzel sticks. Uh, I think before I made, I made them with the regular pretzels, but then we like, they broke up anyway. So I think these will be better this time around. Um, I got some milk chocolate. I think I got all this stuff from Aldi, um, just cause we were there already and I remembered, but I got some milk chocolate. Um, I got some white chocolate so we can color it and make it red or green. So the base is going to consist of just pretzels. Um, you can put pecans or almonds or peanuts or whatever else you want. But we just did pretzels last year and it turned out really good. Um, and then you're going to pour your milk chocolate over the pretzels and let that sit for a little bit. Let it kind of harden and then you're going to go in with your white chocolate or your colored chocolate, whatever color you want. You're gonna drizzle that on top of your pretzels and then is whenever the kids come in, they get to decorate with all these little sprinkles that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and start melting the chocolate now, show you guys that process um, and then the kids will help me. Well, the Christmas bark is cooling down. I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's not a big haul at all. I actually have something else. I actually had something in mind that I wanted to make. Um, I don't know. I'm not too sure what they're called. I think door hangers. They're like um, like a round door hanger. Um, I already had. <laughs> um, I already had this one. Hopefully, that's the right spot. I already had this one from Hobby Lobby. Um, on the back, it's actually blank. All you can see is like the rope. So my idea was to make something similar to this. I really like this idea. So I figured I could just cover up the rope with these. Um, and these were 50% off, so $3. Um, this is really similar to the garland I have on my mantle actually. So I really like this one. It's kind of floppy, but it's still full. This is the ribbon that I really liked. I tried to find, actually I did find the black burlap and the original burlap, but I couldn't find um, like that black and white Christmas tree one. I'm not sure where they have it. I'm sure I could find it like on Amazon or something or that type of thickness. But I really, I like I said before, I love like the dark greens and the deep greens and the emerald greens. So that's what this is. It's like a velvet, it's so pretty. And I did find the burlap. I like the burlap, so I'm gonna use that. And then I found this plaid. Um, I don't think I got anything plaid this year except for like some bows, <laughs> but um, I really like this and match perfectly with the velvet. So I'm gonna use that. And then I couldn't find a white bell. I, I could spray paint a silver bell, uh, but I think I'm just gonna use a silver bell. And then we can probably use this for like crafts or something or any other type of decoration. Kids found some Grinch pencils, so we're gonna use that for, uh, we don't do school during <laughs> um, Christmas time, but we're going to, I do give the kids like some reviews and review packets and stuff, so they'll still be using these. I have a foam Christmas tree that I hot glued a bunch of these to. It's in my bathroom right now. It's like, I, that's like a Grinch theme. Um, I got more because I have a smaller little, um, cause I have a smaller foam Christmas tree and I want to do it again. <laughs> um, so I want to do that, but this one, sorry. Um, but this one I want to, I think I might attach some pipe cleaners to it, but I want to make it like a Grinch Christmas tree. And then we can put like a big pom pom at the bottom. 
Um, figure that would be cute. The at the top, yes, at the top where it curves. <laughs> um, then I forgot, but I had this, and then I want to put a red bow around it, maybe like a little thin one, and then I want to put it right there above the microwave because that's the only real. Well, I think that's the only cabinet that we really don't open that often. Um, so yeah, I think it's so cute. We're gonna go ahead and check on the Christmas spark. And then I will give you guys a little Christmas tour of my home. My home is not in like pristine condition. Um, it rarely ever is. If it is, it's probably just one section at a time. Um, so obviously I have laundry going on back here. Um, my husband is actually putting that up. Oh, one thing I haven't decorated at all is my outside. I'm kind of waiting for my big sign that says, you know, the welcome home one. I have one that says Merry Christmas. Um, on the back, it's like reversible but the boards were coming off, so I'm having that fixed right now. I just bought a new mat at Aldi. I think it's too big for the little rug that I have underneath the mats, so I may just have to use it. I think only like the tassels might be able to show, but it'll still be fine. Um, I obviously, I still have my little door hanger that I wanna make, um, and then, oh, I have, I have a red lantern that I, I've had for a long time. I haven't really found any place to put it. It's figured outside is great. I do get to decorating outside. I will definitely put that video up as well. It's not gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be all crazy. Uh, like I said, it's gonna probably be simple. Yeah, let's go ahead and check on the Christmas spark and then I'll give you guys a home tour. So here is how the Christmas spark turned out. It looks super cute. Um, it firmed up really nicely actually. I'll probably package this up tomorrow because I wanna put some red in it also, but I'm gonna package it up tomorrow. Um, add a few little gifts and stuff and then we'll give it to our neighbors. Okay, so now for our little, I said home tour earlier, but now for our Christmas home tour, our Christmas decor tour, whatever you're gonna call it. I dimmed the lights down a little bit so it can be more, the lights can be more visible, like all the little lights that I have. Here is our entryway. I really like how the wreath turned out. I usually put that wreath on my front door, but I really like how it turned out here. And our Christmas tree here. I think my husband finally fixed the star, but it was leaning for a while. We don't have any presents under the tree quite yet. My daughter and I love to wrap them together, so we'll definitely be doing that. A couple of my favorite ornaments um, will have to be the Grinch here. Um, I do love all the little baby shoes that I have. I told you guys earlier, like I'm weird. I like the little baby shoes. And then like all of these old salt dough ornaments are also my favorite. This is before I even thought to like write on them or like color them. But Isaac's right here has red and green. Isaac's looks so cute. And then our little nativity ones. Those are my favorites too. I have one up there. And like all of our old family photos and stuff. This one was actually before Teo. I really need to make another one. I did decide to get some bells this year and I really liked how they turned out. In case you're wondering why we have a tiny white stocking over here, I'll explain in a later video why we do a white stocking and all of our little fun traditions that we do. The only thing I did add was a silent night. I forgot I had it, but I think it matches perfectly. And this is our little like crafting area. This is where I like to hang up all the kids' crafts. Um, some of these are old. Some of these are old and some of them are like super old. <laughs> like this one is from 2017. This always makes it super fun to display all the crafts that we make together. Um, and this was actually a craft itself. <laughs> um, I painted these with Mia a while back and it was so fun to do it. Oh, I guess in 2020 I did it. This is the kids little, well, little big <laughs> nativity scene that they like to play with. Here's another wooden nativity that they like to play with a lot. Um, a lot of times I'll find baby Jesus like in the fridge or in the pantry. <laughs> so I know Teo likes to play with him. This spot was super fun to set up. Um, this is a little Christmas tree that I told you guys I wanted to make another one, but like make it loop over like a Grinch tree. I love this little frame. Um, I think it ties in like my two favorite things that I love the most. <laughs> I filled in this bathroom decorate with me. I had Joseph on here cause I thought it was baby Jesus and the kids kept telling me baby Jesus doesn't have a beard. <laughs> So I am glad I finally found everybody. And of course I had to put some little Grinch quotes in here and they turned out great. That'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here and clicking on today's video and spending some time with my family and I. I will see you in the next one. Bye.